The White House pulled out all the stops for Kenya's President William Ruto and his wife Rachel with a state dinner that included celebrity guests, a succulent menu, and electric performances. U.S. President Joe Biden and First Lady Jill Biden ensured no expense was spared in honoring Kenya, one of their closest allies in sub-Saharan Africa. The Kenya first couple were accompanied by three of their daughters and were all pictured on the red carpet ahead of the evening's entertainments. State dinners are organized by the First Lady and her staff and involve much pomp and circumstance. The invitation list, menu, flowers, all pink orchids and red roses for Thursday, and table settings are all meticulously planned. It was a big night for the U.S. First Lady. It was also a chance to see great fashion. Here U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris dazzled in a green ensemble, and other guests chose an African theme. The U.S. Vice President Harris was accompanied by Second Gentleman Douglas C. M. Hoff. Entrepreneur Caroline A. Wenga and Barku Tubman were pictured together on their arrival. The black tie event was a star-studded affair with celebrities from the screen such as Black Panther actress Denai Gurira, who is from Zimbabwe, and LeVar Burton, who made his name playing Kuna Kinte in Roots. Denai Gurira was pictured with Ndidi Akonkwo Nwaneli, CEO of The One Campaign. Actor LeVar Burton attended with his wife and fellow actor Stephanie Cozart Burton. Former President Bill Clinton and his wife Hillary were also there, and ex-President Barack Obama, whose father was Kenyan, swooped in with a surprise appearance. Minnesota politician Ilan Omar, who was born in Somalia, was also in attendance. Reports say Mr. Obama only stayed for a brief time. Former U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton talks to civil rights campaigner Al Sharpton. Ilan Omar was accompanied by her husband Tim Minot. The mouth-watering menu, which primarily showcased American cuisine leaving little room for Kenyan food, included short ribs, lobster, and sweet corn. America's influence on the African continent has been waning in recent years, with countries moving towards China, Russia, and Iran. But during this trip, the East African nation has been given the status of non-NATO ally by the U.S. In his toast, President Ruto said, we proudly take a firm stance, shoulder to shoulder, for democracy in a world where troubles have shaken the faith of men. Performances from country singer Brad Paisley and the gospel choir of Howard University enchanted the guests. Country singer Brad Paisley wore his signature cowboy hat. This might have been a nod to President Ruto, who not only likes country music, but is Kenya's first evangelical Christian president. The Howard University gospel choir in full voice. The state dinner was held in honor of the African nation, but it was clear that the night was about keeping Democratic allies close as President Biden heads into the heat of the 2024 campaign season. Yes, Barack Obama was there. State dinners are best known as bear hugs for overseas allies, and Thursday's honoree was Kenya. But the sixth state dinner of President Biden's term was designed to clutch domestic allies, not the least of them Mr. Obama, whose father was Kenyan, even tighter as the president makes the long slog toward November. The 500-person event, held on the south lawn of the White House on a humid May evening, was attended by dozens of influential Kenyans, of course. The list included President William Ruto of Kenya and his wife, Rachel, along with three of his daughters. It also included some of the country's wealthiest figures, like James Mwangi, the chief executive of the global banking conglomerate Equity Group Holdings Limited. We share a strong respect for the history that connects us together, Mr. Biden said to his guests during a toast. He quoted from a speech given by President Jimmy Carter, who honored Kenya with a state dinner in 1980. Neighbors do not share a border but share beliefs. But the evening, along with the guest list, was just as notable for what it said about Mr. Biden's current political obstacles. Aside from Mr. Obama, the former president was not on the initial guest list published by the White House and he departed before Mr. Biden's speech. The list name-checked the people Mr. Biden will want to bring closer into the fold in the months ahead. The lineup included elected officials in several battleground states, influential black political operatives, and powerful philanthropists like Melinda French Gates. Choosing their guests, the president and Jill Biden, the first lady, mixed supporters of the president's re-election effort with several Biden family members, granddaughters and Mr. Biden's son Hunter, who is scheduled to stand trial on gun charges next month. Hunter Biden's wife, Melissa Cohen Biden, walked the red carpet alone. 
There were few Hollywood types, though one notable attendee was the actor Sean Penn. Mr. Penn was photographed by the gossip website TMZ as he spent time with Hunter Biden, who has been working on a documentary about his life in California earlier this month.